And I think they do actually scout out Dicey as at least one member that's there, but also does able to find one kill. Billy and Trade to come through. Tailwind's trying to stay alive, but they know they've got Dicey completely isolated. So a two for two trait. Kiko holding his life at elbow will find one. Shockguard comes through. That'll be good for his third elimination. The spike does go down, but this is a 1v3 situation, and Mata is going to be trapped up here, and no consideration for him to try to save this. The only on the way. Dark cover placed over towards the defensive side of spawn. 100 Thieves needs to stay alive as much as humanly possible through elbow, and they've done well. The utility's finding so much value, and Asada, who just tosses left. out the paint cells, will find a kill. Blind Showstopper will not connect, though. Mata's going to keep things even. 3v3 underneath 23 seconds now. This plant is starting to come through. Asana making his way onto the site. Going to try to clear off long. Nice shot there for number three. Not going to get the fourth, though. Stellar able to double up. Now it's just down to Dicey in a 1v2. And this is a very early operator to keep in mind. This would provide a big risk versus reward potential if he does decide to go for this. He might get timing here as well. Look at Stellar's positioning over through from Elbow. Stella swings at the right time. Dicey will go down. This is a very difficult situation for Dicey to play in. You don't want to lose the Operator early. Doesn't have enough money to rebuy. Certainly doesn't have a lot of time. Now needs to get an early kill. Can't find anybody. It might go down here. Anyway, that is a big loss of 100 Thieves early on in the half. Big. Still very passive so far. And whoa, Dicey's going to get picked. That's a brilliant first blood. Asuna coming out of the teleporter will be made aware. 1v1 in Hookah. He's going to win that. So left. now all of a sudden, LG is completely trapped. They're going to try to stick for the plant. But this is going to be very dangerous. Stella's going to make it one more time to come through, but he goes able to find a kill. 100 thieves in a 4v3. The retake looking good right now. Find it inside container as well to make sure they don't get pinched too hard yet. Have a control over towards the hookah side of things. Very important. Hiko pulls through under Sphere. A little bit of connection here. Nice kill on the seller as well. Make it 3v2. And still, double entry. Two players on site. They should be able to get the cleanup, but KZ is making this one very difficult sooner. Still has a gun. Hiko still has a gun. Still an opportunity. A 2v1 now. Just comes down to KZ. Can he hold on? The answer is no. He go for another three, and the defuse will come in for three rounds to one. Everything on that round came well placed. It'll keep Dicey a little bit tagged up. KZ's worked his way onto the site, but the spike is not here for any of this. You got to keep in mind. And if Dicey finds first blood, it will be traded. But this has been still a solid hold for a hundred thieves. Now all of a sudden, Stellar's going to bring the spike. KZ with the classic, another kill up top. But the numbers are staying still in favor of a hundred thieves defense. Casey will pick up a gun here as the knives start to fade away. Can't get quite get killed the hundred thieves sooner. And that's going to be it. Unfortunately, the equipment value coming through for 100 scout things out. They do see the sentry turret that's been placed, but they also get a tag on this deal who gets completely isolated. Now Asuna trying to keep things alive. Failed tailwind for KZ, but he still confirms the kill and Thief will take care of Hiko. The B site wide open for LG's taking. A Hiko down is going to be really important now as well. 100 Thieves lose their big info character. The two players that are alive right now. I think Nitro might want to go for this one. He doesn't have the best value equipment right now. Just the Spectre in hand. Has an early 1v1 over towards Hooker. Needs to win this one. Get a gun upgrade. It'll be really important. We'll find it nice and easy on Proto. Dicey thinking about the situation. You see that Dicey is playing very close towards spawn. He wants to fall off. If things get a little bit hairy here, he doesn't want to commit the operator again. Needs Nitro yeah. to get a little bit more work done, but I think the two of them realize that time is starting to run out very quickly now, and the save might just be in hand. Maybe playing for exits as well, though, with Nitro's position. The only place that would be safe for LG is to make it through Hookah at the moment. Even that could potentially be contested. Dice is going to get an opportunity. He finds one. Cloudburst will keep him safe. Tailwind away. Nitro finds another. This is a very costly offensive round here for LG. Clutch. But there is still potential of one more point of contact. Dicey's, do you really want to challenge? 77% of the time defensively, at least on average, that we've seen in the two maps that they played. LG is right there with them, though, with another 77% win rate. And how about this? Offensive operator for KZ actually does find value. So Dicey down early. Leading towards a 5v4 for LG. Lockdown is ready, though, again for Steel. And Thief and Asuna once again are going to try to battle each other over towards Duka. And how about that snapper from Asuna? I thought for sure Thief would have had the jump on him, but he's able to keep things level at four piece. And that's a really important death as well. That's going to be really tough for Luminosity. Still keeping things competitive, though. It's three and three, but the HP bar is not really great for LG right now. He really might have to be spent extra. Nope. They lost all their ultimates, and now LG have to start considering the save. Just one player left. However, he's really deep. Stella, unknown, though. Would be able to get one kill away fairly safely. They don't know where he is, but he's whiffing the shots currently, and now Stella's in a real deep trouble. He'll go making themselves... Getting themselves into a 5v4 situation. Look for it again now. Thief has to go left. in. Can't see anything. 
Down to 51 HP, tries to challenge over towards Lamps. Big 1v1, and Nitro is able to take it. So 100 Thieves still on the site, still contesting. What a shot that is from Dice. He's up top. He's able to find a second. Now Asuna coming with the showstopper. He'll find one more. Spams through the dark cover for a double. Alarm bot play, so there's no retake. And as soon as you start to get all the teleporters through, Mata has to go massive. He finds the first, but he's tagged up pretty heavily. Can he get away from the paint shells just Double barely? back. And now again, doubling back, just like you say, here comes a hundred thieves and Dicey, who has still been allowed to linger over towards A, has freed up so much space. Now he's turned a shorty into a specter. A hundred thieves have now taken the numbers 4v3 and Luminosity, they are all over the map and not in a good way. Yeah, this is going to be big for 100 Thieves now. They are in a really good position. The plant will come through as well. Steel is still lurking over towards B. He has a potential 1v1 on his hands soon. Just to bring the numbers down a little bit more. He's going to be able to win that one with just a classic headshot. Now LG have two alive. They're giving away a lot of SMGs here as well. Very low HP for KZ, who only has a ghost. One it's not looking very good now anymore. Thief would have to come up big time, and he gets flashed. He's blinded out, and there's no way he wins that one. It is a situation early as they need to be. A really good communication there as well. You did see Asuni, he was already getting early feet over towards B. Told his team that not much was happening over there. So called for the rotation over. On this particular round though, Dicey managed to push up. Oh, sorry, well, KZ actually on defense. Pushed up nice and early. Doesn't see too much. Asuna will get one kill over towards Ruka. So again, Thief going down early and Asuna is just popping off now. Oh, look at this little blast pack peek as well. Trying to see if he can find maybe one more. There it is. There's number three. Spam shots. Maybe number four in front of him. Not going to happen. He'll reset, little bounce pass. There's the fourth. I mean, he's got the opportunity for number five as well. I mean, no one else is here. He's going to use the showstopper. Talk about the disrespect. <laughs> he finds the connection for at least most of the health pool, and Asuna really wants this ace, and he'll hold down the trigger to get it. Oh. Quickly into Proto. It's a complete waste, let's be honest. But at this point in time, he's just completely styling on the opposition. Speaking of styling, dicing down the early kill on Tomato. This is a gun round coming through for LG yeah. as well. So they can't really be affording to lose members too early like this. It almost feels like Luminosity, knowing that they've got such a big uh, deficit to try to eliminate, they're trying some cheeky plays. And in a full gun round, like you mentioned, that just isn't really afforded. I mean, you need to win this round, and now it's a 5v3. Asuna is still popping off as he finds another clean shot. KZ will eliminate that threat, but is it still too much of a threat to deal with? 4v2 we go. Nitro onto the site, but Proto finds a kill, and he's been relatively quiet so far. That would need to change. KZ finds a bounce back. 2v2. Where are the trades at 100 Thieves? Proto is able to stay alive with Bolton with 10 HP, and he will not be able to exist through steel. Tell you off of this showstopper, and they're already going to send over Thief to try to rotate in towards this A site. Here's the take, though, for 100 Thieves. Is it clean? No, it is not. Proto for two. Stellar will fall off the paint shells. Came through for Asuna. Neural theft, though, will be spent. So information on the read here for LG defensively, but nice help here for Asuna as he takes down Proto 2v2. We go. Showstopper available for both of our raised players. And the recon bolt finds a ton of information. Scouts out both players, and that will lead to Asuna picking up the spike, and then he's going to teleport immediately back over to B. And has the opportunity to dial back around as well. You don't even have to commit to this teleport, and now you've given information over to LG. You should know it to be a fast rotate, because while well, you already saw them over towards the back of site, they can get to be very quickly, and they are there now. Hiko needs to try and get here very quickly as well. Ultimates should really come to play here. I think Hiko's setting up for a Hunter's Fury. You also have, by the way, here we go, the showstopper's in. Oh, this is terrible timing. The showstopper goes on to site, but as that happens, Asuna is able to sit behind and find the free kill halfway on the defuse, trying to sidestep the Hunter's Fury, not able to do it. It's actually going to be a B main push through, and Steel is here for this. Bam shots will come through. Second set of burst will go, and I'm not really sure why you double peek that if you're Mata, but Steel will say thank you very much, and I'll just walk away with the double, no problem. And patience being shown as well. 100 Thieves not over committing here. Nitro playing standard over towards mid. You'll see Nitro do this every single round on attack, by the way. Always going to be lurking over towards mid, looking for a little bit of mid pressure to try and push Luminosity to spend extra resources to defending against him. It's just going to be now Thief. And Thief has to, has to be very careful about his timing here. I don't know if he even has layers available, but needs to swing when possible. Is going to do so, but we'll go down here.
Well, this has been a really save. clean round for 100 Thieves. Steel still Whoa. holding over towards B. May actually finds a third kill off screen. It towards B through market, or shut down any rotators that are lurking through the defender's side and spawn. Thief, be able to pull that little cheeky shoulder strat. He will find first blood, though, on the dicey, and the Empress is popped here for Asuna. And this commit's going to have to be through Tree. KZ is here, and he's got good help. So this Empress is not finding as much value as you'd hope for, at least not early. And Asuna will left. take down one, so one not, uh, not exactly what you're looking for there for 100 Thieves as Proto finds a double, and now it's a 4v1 for LG's defense. That's another situation where 100 Thieves are trying to fake their way on towards A, then they put the spike towards B. Proto shuts that one down. Hiko is still competitive in this round so far. Time will run out. Just looking for damage now. Just looking to take guns left. away. Might even be able to walk away with the free Vandal himself, but Asuna needed to fade away there. Asuna had the opportunity to devour the one orb available after getting the kill over towards Tree, but doesn't do so. Can't get away in time, can't stay alive. Hiko will find no more as well. So now the smoke comes down. This will be the opportunity to maybe move away. Asuna moves in. So I don't know if it was Asuna moving in or Thief trying to move in. It looked like both of them were trying to do it simultaneously. Stellar finds one, and Dicey actually tries to challenge it. It will keep two members for LG defensively stuck at A while the spike, like you mentioned, is making its play over towards B main. So it's going to be down to Mata and what is essentially a 1v3. Now that 100 Thieves has been dealt with on the A site, that will mean that the defense could start to rotate, but unfortunately left. Mata cannot hold his ground. So it'll be a 2v3 retake necessity here for Luminosity if they want to try to find their second round. Juggling a couple of guns away here as well. 2v3, 100 Sphere available for the side of Hiko. Playing off-site currently as well, so making this one very difficult. You see over for LG, Stella on minimal HP bang. so far, and I believe he had to pick up his first kill. Goes yeah. down super easily, and a proto has to start thinking about whether he wants to go for this round or not. Doesn't get to make that choice happen. Seiko takes him down, and actually working this time around. LG are slowly falling off of A. Stella's the only one oh, no! He's going to walk away as well. Oh my <laughs> goodness, this is a knife fight over towards the back. Mana's going to get taken down. Oh no, and LG are trying to isolate this kill on the steel who's just going to hide and stay safe. Oh man. I mean, we've seen some things, Avril, but <laughs> not quite like that. Spike will go down. Still potential for this retake. Let's not get too carried away here. Neural Theft is going to be called out. LG looking to split hit this one through Tree, one through Heaven. Hiko playing safely over towards AR Tray will be dirt covered away so if stellar can find one there is potential of him breaking through but dice is able to find the trade back kill and now they know exactly where the cypher of proto was in nitro will make use of the kill five one it goes to be maybe a heavy push through mid coming up well it's gonna be maybe towards short people's definitely gonna kill now he's actually gonna ulti over through over the short i don't know how well that's gonna Pay out for him. a lot of plays here from LG to spam through. Asuna will have to do quite well here. The Emperor's being popped in. They need to get these kills. He's down very early, and Thief gets away. Yeah, the dismiss comes through. He actually wasn't the one to spend the Empress. It was going to be Asuna who did. But still, he's just trusted the pistol. So as Hiko takes the challenge over to Garden, he'll find the elimination. And now another 2v3 for LG on the retake. Similar setup as far as left. who's alive on both sides. Planted. And as the spike is planted, Proto's going to make his way through first. A huge shot guard from Nico. Takes him down to two shots. Steel will find both Nitro spamming through the pool's blaster. It is now Asuna. We'll take that time to take control, but instantly taken down by Thief. That's a big kill for Luminosity now. With a 5v3 advantage, if Hiko doesn't find a kill now, it will be very difficult. Ah, uh, but he does. And with that dice, he finds another. That's Thief and Mata that are down. Hiko will immediately use the ult and then pick up an ultimate orb. A 3v3 situation. Still low on HP, though, is Nitro on the Omen for 100 Thieves. And as the spike goes down, the retake once again will have to be Proto from Heaven, Stellar from Tree, and with him will eventually be KZ. Cover going out. They're Nitro low HP, through. by the way. Yeah. Their cover coming through. Maybe the push. Dicey gets a read on where Proto's positioned, but no one's going to find any shots. KZ actually opens with an Operator, so now a 3v2. Retake coming one in. Hiko for one, but Nitro falls like you mentioned. Just very low HP. Going. Hiko for a third, though, through the Shock smoke. Up. Are you kidding? Has a shock dart available. Could just spam that. Has to spam through it, but Hiko will not find the kill. Time will be close, and it will actually favor 100 Thieves, who will find themselves their seventh round. They're looking for a trap, like I said, 400 Thieves. You notice that there is one player, KZ. 
holding over towards B, so allowing his team to notify that nothing's happening on that side of the map. As soon as we pick up Stella early, Thief has to try and get one, will do so. Dismisses away as well, that's pretty decent. But has to try and hold on for a little bit extra. And now that all the defenders for LG run if they want to stay competitive. KZ makes his position where it goes for the secondary yeah. challenge. Not going to find the kill. Proto, though, for well, two. Able to convert He's off the information. Neural Theft will be called out. Spike had been placed voluntarily behind B main, so that'll be My collected by destroyed. Nitro, and 100 Thieves will have to try to find a way to work this 3v5 if they want to see round number nine come through here. And it's a major advantage for LG as well. You want to see them potentially look Case to convert. Three. Not drop too many here. They've had advantages before that they do drop. Unfortunately, we did see that plenty on bind. It was just a one-player advantage, but even then, you expect them, expect them to maybe hold on to a one-player advantage. For this particular round as well, I think LG may have thought that, okay, well, you saw 100 Thieves mostly post up towards A. Are they going to stay A or are they going to come B? It does seem now that it will be B. And for LG, they have to respond to this one quickly because we're already on site. Nitro is going to be good for the first. There's a second nearby. It's still going to be Proto. He will fall. KZ at the same angle. Dicey finds another kill at a KZ. That's the entire B site that has been completely opened up. Luminosity, how have you allowed this to happen? That was a 3v5. It now begins. it's a 2v3 the other way. Empress is going to be called in. Kiko, as traditional, will be playing over towards B main. Here's the footsteps. And as the spam shots are coming through, Hiko could potentially punish One the Empress. You're going to get the paranoia out, and fortunately for LG, they are fine too, but Dicey's still alive. Uses the Cloud Burst. Able to Tailwind around. Is going to make sure that this spike cannot be held on to, and the time is in Dicey's favor. He's going to sit inside the dark cover. He's playing this beautifully, and Dicey is for four. Put 100 Thieves on the... 100 Thieves look to speed up very, very quickly. Proto, who's responsible for two early kills beforehand, will get oh one, and the second again. If you're LG, you are so blessed and thankful for Proto right now. He finds two in the opening round before. He's able to find three this round, shutting down the Empress, shutting down the Blade Storm, but it still might not be enough. Hiko got so much damage confirmed off of his Hunter's Fury. He's able to find another elimination. Nitro shuts down KZ. No chance this happens again. 2v2 now. Thief on the way in. Spear destroyed. Takes the challenge. Takes down Nitro with it. And now it's just down to Hiko for a 1v2. Spike dropped over towards the archway. And Thief is, I would say, fortunate to see the shot oh, dart go, go by. But Stellar takes an individual challenge. So now it's a 1v1, Avril. And Thief walked into the recon as well. So his position just got scouted up by Hiko. This is really unfortunate. The 1v1 Unreal. can still be won by Thief, but it doesn't go his way. Hiko and 100 Thief. Hiko can get a lot of rounds that way. Early push coming through, spamming the SMGs with 100 Thieves, and they're at least able to push everything back. Reset going to come out, and LG, very well done. You thought that 100 Thieves were going to stop the initial push. You almost thought the same way for LG, but now on the way through, it's just up the Nitro, and he actually finds two. So LG, they've got numbers, but hold on. 3v2 no all spike. of a sudden, and the spike is not here like you mentioned. This gives 100 Thieves a lot of time to play with. Note that Hiko's still alive. There's no player I trust more on the 100 Thieves side of things to clutch up than Hiko so far. He won that super clutch situation on round 12 just a little bit early on. Finally, this plant will come through. Proto, he had the flank over towards oh, glass. Man. Fails to win the 1v1, and now we bring it back to even numbers. Bam shots, KZ. He just needs to matrix these shots and stay alive. <laughs> He's done well to not take much damage. Both players up top for 100 Thieves. This will result in LG having essentially isolated gunfights and Stellar does well to win the first. So now it's just down to one. It's Hiko again for a 1v2. Shots will come through. His position will be made aware. The jump peak coming out. He stays alive. He finds one. Who is he? Find a second. He's going to go to the pistol. It's pistol on pistol action. And Hiko again for a 1v2. Time is going to be close. And he's got it. He's going to stick it, but I think he should have it. Yes. Yep. Well the thieves now where they're looking towards 13 and 3. 13 and 2, rather. Luminosity down one early. It's not looking great. No, it sure isn't. There's the second to fall. And 100 Thieves, this is the whole W strat coming out of the playbook, it looks like. Thief will punish for at least one. And to be fair, if LG can find a way to win this eco, maybe pick up some weapons, they could start helping their economy get to snowball form, which it needs to get to.
But a 4v3 for 100 Thieves with weapon advantage, you're feeling pretty good about their odds. I have the spike. Now, I wonder if LG did pick up Stella's Soul Phantom, or rather Vandal they brought into the round. That was the only gun so far. I still have a couple of other mishmash buys here, Marta, on towards the Ares. But LG now, not a lot of time to work with. They have to start deciding where they want to go fairly soon. And there is another gun on the ground ahead of them, I believe, so far. Actually, it might have been juggled away, so uh, that's not going to work out too well for them. Early Eldron should give information. And 100 Thieves now might want to consider that this will be A aggression. Nitro will left. find two. Gonna have to be what is essentially and technically would be considered a 1v4 for Mata. He does have the spikes to, to play with. Has It'll to get on to A. This has to be the commitment to come through. Recon Bolt will be sent out. Also just gonna stay safe behind the cover of the boxes up top at Heaven. Ten seconds left. And as he tries to maybe clear out hell. Mata is going to be absolutely taken down from above. And 